I met James three years ago, probably about three years ago. Uh, and it was through Black Runners Connection. A friend of mine who had started running, she had mentioned she was a part of this group. She had lost 70 pounds and started running long distance. And I was busted, broke, disgusted at the time. And I was like, I just need to change something. And so I got outside and I just started walking. And then I thought, maybe I can run. And I was like, girl, you can't run. <laughs> And when I got involved in this Facebook group, everything changed for me. And I thought, what would it be like for people who are on this journey, new runners, to be able to experience this man who started this organization himself? So I wanted to bring him on the platform. And here he is. He said yes. <laughs> hey, James. Welcome. Hey. Oh, man. Um it's always it's always uh, interesting when people tell the tell like the origin stories of you meeting them um, because uh, I I don't often I don't often recognize the impact that like Black Runners Connections had on folks so thank you for that wonderful intro and um, background story uh, I'm of course happy to be here um, you you know you're already family so. Um, it was just say the word, you know, I was going to be here. And let me go into more detail. So when I finally got official chance to meet him in person, it was at the race. We have the race coming up here in Atlanta this weekend represent. And that was my, it was my first 5k ever, but it was, so I ran it during COVID. So that was on a virtual path in Atlanta. And then when it came back after COVID, James came to Atlanta and we met up and I was going through just a lot of stuff. Cause first I started running because I was going through depression and just, just a lot of stuff. But then when I started running, I felt like running helped me find some peace, but then like runners do sometimes we overdo it. And I was like, I gotta do this. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. I gotta do, I just gotta be. And he was like, if you don't sit your beat down, <laughs> And you were the first person in the running community to really check me. Yeah. And I will never, ever forget that because even just starting running, I probably would have quit running if I had have kept that pace up. So thank you. Well, you're welcome. I want everybody to be good. You know, um, I, I know what it feels like to have the exuberance of a new runner uh and often our ignorance gets the best of us right um and and i didn't want you to be injured because you were already dealing with some stuff so yeah. you know yeah i'm coming up on 10 years of running i like wow i can't even believe that i'm saying that <laughs> well tell us take us back to the first time you laced your shoes up and started running um it's february 24th 2014 uh, I was a, I, most people don't know, uh, that I was an avid cyclist. Um, you know, when I, when I get into something, I'm a Virgo. So when I get into something, I go hard, I get, I go right into it. Um, and I started, you know, cycling in, um, May of 2012, hardcore, you know, doing century rides. And, um, you know, that was my thing. I, I used to always look at runners and like, the hell are they going? Mm. You know, it's freezing outside. Don't they realize it's cold outside? And, you know, aren't they tired of doing these little circles and laps or, you know, and I used to make fun of runners. Oh my gosh. I wow. Fun. But what I, what I, um, you know, February 24th, 2014, uh, I was getting ready for a, uh, for a ride. Had, just got all my gear on. Was about to take my bike outside. Had put my helmet on. I looked outside and it started snowing. Hmm. I was like, man, I just need like a 45 minute workout. It's going to be a quick workout. And I said, you know what? I, I have these trail shoes that I, I had used from a mud run, you know, in 2013. I said, let me just put those in. Maybe I'll just go run outside for, you know, half an hour or so. I ran, came back and uh, I get back home. You know, I have my bike computer. I just put it in my, my back pocket. I had all cycling gear on. It was hilarious. Um, when I uploaded the run, I had to convert it from a bike 
<laughs> uh, like a bike ride to a run on Strava. And then I uploaded it to Facebook. Like I used to do all my rides. And people start hitting me up. They're like, did you just do that? I was like, yeah. They're like, you and you just ran that pace? Uh yeah. Is it is it bad? <laughs> is it bad? I've been trying to run for I've been running for three years and you run that pace in your first run. So what was the pace? It was like a nine, something like a nine wow. twenty. I thought I, you know, I, yeah. I was just chilling, you know. Yeah. But you know, I, I I had no idea like any of the metrics in running because I paid no attention to it. Um and what what it was is you know, it, it was the first time that I realized that maybe I have like an aptitude for running. And so I would say so. Yes. <laughs> but, but, you know, it it was just I was just trying to get my workout on. That, yeah. that's it. You know, so I, I, I wasn't like overly excited about it. But then people started hitting me up. My my, um, my friend Cheryl, um, she hit me up, Cheryl Donald. She's like she, she's my Delta Sands. We pledged the same semester. She's like Sands. Um, you should come do uh, the Brooklyn half with me. I say, like, I ain't running no half marathon. Are you crazy? But you know, somehow she, she talked me into it. But you knew all the terminology because you were a cyclist and out in fitness and kind of really. sort of. Okay. I mean, I was around it, but okay. I didn't really pay that much attention to it. Like I, I didn't really understand what pace was as I knew what pace was on a bike, but I didn't understand what was a good pace, what was a bad pace for someone at my fitness level. I, I had no idea about any of that. Uh, and so people started explaining it to me as runners do, because, you know, runners love talking about running, yeah, you know, um, and just like cyclists love talking about cycling. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I, I caught on, you know, quickly enough to understand that it's that I should, you know, do something with that, that ability that I have. Um, and then I just, you know, there was a four mile race. I can't remember the name of it, but it was a New York Road Runners race. That was my first official race where I signed up and registered. And, you know, I remember running up on one of my friends and she was walking, you know, and cycling. You know, if we see you and it looks like you might be having a hard time, we just stick with you, you know? Okay. And she's like, oh, no, I'm fine. Go. I'm like, no, I'm going to stick with you. You know, and she was running a much slower pace uh -huh. than I was. And, after a while, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead. I'll see you at the end. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, yeah, go, go, go. And then I just kind of took off. And, you know, being it, it, if you've ever run a New York World Run this race, your, your first time yeah. registered with them, they put you all, all the way in the back. Okay. So I'm like passing people. I'm like, what is, wow. what's happening? You know, all these runners out here and I'm passing them. What's going on? Um, but it was... You know, it's just that I was so fit from being a cyclist. Yeah. Doing, you know, when you start doing centuries, you know, you're a pretty fit person. And what is a century? It's a hundred miles on the bike. Okay. So they call it wow. 100, 100 miles of so a century. So, you know, I had, by the time I started running, I had done about five centuries. Just traveling wow. all, over the, all over the country, you know, doing races. Um, so I just, I, I literally... You know, you you asked about my origin. I stumbled into running just because it was snowing outside. <laughs> I, I had no intention. I, I tell you, when I used to, used to make so much fun of, of, of runners, all of my cycling friends, we used to be like, where the hell are they? Where, where are they going? Why did they do this? Um, but and now day, you run a streak of over 800 days? Yeah, I think today <laughs> it is, let's see, where am I? I think this is 887. Today will be 887. But 187 days. I, 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 this wasn't a thing I thought I would ever do. You know, I, I started running in 2014. And after I did my first half marathon, I was like, I'm done. After I did Brooklyn, I said, I'm done. I'm never doing this again. I was crying. I was like, Thank you, God, for helping me do this. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I was so extra with it, you know, um, but I really felt, I fell in love with running. It was, um, cycling is hard, but running is hard. Mm. Running is, it's so much to me, it's much more rewarding for the effort that I put into it. Um, 
knowing what I'm able to accomplish with it. So I, I like, I love cycling, but I love running. Like, wow. I and really you still love. cycle. You still, mm. when you can. If I feel like it, I, I, okay. you know, I, I, every year I set a goal. I'm, I say, I want to ride X amount of hundreds of miles for the year. Right. And uh-huh. like, if I did 200 or I, I think last year I set 400 miles. I do that. I think <laughs> I did like 150, you know, I just, I don't enjoy it the way I used to. Yeah. 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 Um, but I, I'm starting so to get the itch back again. Yeah. Like so that. I was talking to Erica Moore, um, the ultra marathoner yesterday, and she, she really opened my eyes cause she said, why do something you don't enjoy? Right. Or or even you should try different things to see what you like. And I didn't realize that because, you know, I'm like, okay, well, everybody's doing going out of the country and they're running these marathons. I guess that's what I'm supposed to do, too. And she was like, I mean, you can try it, but you don't have to stay in that category of you you have to run the pavement you have to do races try trail running try during an ultra she was like you don't have to go 5k 10 and i was like oh i don't know why i didn't think about this because yeah, i let me thinking- tell you if you do trail running it will change your life mm. trail running is amazing it's hard yeah but i like i had i had to like because i run by myself mostly nowadays I had to like wean myself like with trail running because it is addictive. It's so mm. so clean. It's like you 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 can't zone out with trail. Like it's you have to you have to really pay attention. And I like that. I I, yeah. I feel like I'm in an action movie when I'm one of the trails, you know, especially if I trip and I'm like, whoa, you know, <sighs> trying to make sure I don't fall. But mm. it's it's amazing. I, I agree with her. You got to do the things that you love. And if there's a style of running that's not working for you, try something else. Mm, mm, wow. Okay, so I tried doing a streak um, just for 30 days. And that bro, that was hard just to get one mile in. Um, so kudos to you for going, oh, it's over two, three years? How many years? It's Yeah, it's over two years. May, May, two years. I, I, I can't... I had never run more than five days straight, mm. right? And to be at day eight eighty seven is incredible. Why was we it talked. another? I fell into it, and I just said, "Let's see how far I can go." Um, after so after COVID, uh, well during COVID, I only ran eighty miles in twenty twenty. I was terrified. I remember. I remember you yeah. telling me. I was I was so terrified. And so I was like, I, I I was running to my bus station to make my bus one day. Uh and it was May 1st of 2021. And I was so out of shape and I couldn't I couldn't believe it. Hmm. You know, I was before COVID I had run like a 137 half marathon. Wow. And now I'm huffing to run 10 blocks. It said, I got to get back in shape. And it was very, it's much easier to stay in shape. And so now I said, you know, I just have to really be patient with myself because when you are starting again, it's just difficult. So I said, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to dedicate myself to running every day for 30 days. And what you go through during that period, I'm sure you experienced a little bit of it, is trying to find one more reason that trumps the excuses that you make for yourself right because right. Right? it's easy to make an excuse it's so easy it's so easy tired so tired yeah hungry yeah. uh just whatever so mm-hmm. I, I always i have a rule of the plus one you know my run success equals you know the number of excuses that well like my run success are like my reasons right mm-hmm. It equals the number of excuses plus one. So I can come up with 10 things, but I'm going to find a way to get it done. Mm. Now, a lot of my runs start at 11.55 at night, mm. right? Because I am so tired mm-hmm. throughout the day, but I just make a point of just giving myself 
that 10 minutes. And the, the thing, if you run a streak is that, especially if you're using a watch, is that you, as long as you start your run before midnight, it, it will count for that day, at least with a Garmin. I have to see with others, mm-hmm. but you know, so I just make sure to, to just get it in. It's, and, and I have support, you know, I have friends or family who love me, my partner who just, Hey, Mac, did you get to run in? Did you get to run in? <laughs> I have an alarm set at 10 o'clock, you know, <laughs> every day. Hey, did you run? Um, so there's a lot of like coordination, a lot of support. It's not just me doing it on my own. I, I, I have what I need to to be successful. Mm, I love that. I love that. All right, let's jump into this um, Black Runners Connection organization. Um, again, it has been tremendously helpful to me because first, I didn't know that there was so many people of color running long distance. Oh, yeah. When I started running, I knew a Black girl's um, run, and I flirted with them for years, pretending like, oh, yeah, girl, I'm going to keep up with you. And I was like, I cannot do this. Yeah. Um, but when I found you guys, it was a place for me to come ask my questions and not be judged. Um, I remember to hear him saying, hey, I can. Uh-huh. can you hear me? I think one of us is freezing. Can you hear me? Yeah, I think I think you were free. Okay. Yeah, I can hear okay. you now. Can you hear mm-hmm. me now? Yep. Okay. When I got in the group and I started asking my questions, it was like everybody wanted to give me support. Everybody wanted to answer the questions and I didn't have to pay for it. Right. Um, and I remember when I asked, I was like, can can anybody like help me? And to hear was like, hey, I'll help you. And I was like, how much? <laughs> <laughs> and it I've never been involved first of all I've never been an athlete this is the first time after 40 being somebody that's considered and it took me a while to say oh you are an athlete because I'm like yes. girl you are not yes, you are. but I am yes. and being in the group with other black people who are athletes gave me that um, confidence to go no you are and we're here. And so every time I go to an event or another state, I'm like, oh, Black Riders get out. So how did you decide to start it? And then let's talk about, because we Black people here, and it's different. It's very different running while Black. Um, yeah, let's talk about that. Well, I, you know, it, it, this was a happy accident. Like, if, if you know, anybody's heard me uh, talk about this subject, Black Runners Connection wasn't supposed to be what it is never intended to be this uh in 2014 we were coming up on miami marathon in january 2015 and you know our origin story actually comes out of national black marathon association Hmm. you know i was i was reading through all the threads and trying to find out all these people were saying hey who's going to miami marathon who's going to miami marathon like all these people there were I, i i would i think the count was about eight different threads over like the course of like a week or two and this was where Reddit? this is this is on facebook oh on facebook okay yeah and you know uh natural black marathon and nbma they still they still exist um okay. they, they have more members than we do um and and always have right um but you know i i just started saying hey let me try to get us together for a meet and greet because that's what we do in the cycling world right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, we're, we're, there's so few of us, we make up such a small percentage that it doesn't make sense for us to not connect when, when right. we're in a space. And I, I think that people were already doing that. And so I just created something. It was a long name. It was like, I'm trying to, it was like 2015 Miami Marathon Black Runners Connection, right? <laughs> right? It was crazy long. And then, you know, we started with like, you know, I posted to all of those different you know, threads. And then, you know, I, we got about 25 people in the group in like the first week. Um, by the time we got down to Miami, it was like 40 people in the group. We had about 60 people show up to the meet and greet. It was amazing. And when we left that weekend, by the time we got back that Monday, we had 140 people in the group. Wow. And then everybody was like, you know, posting their pictures and said, oh, you know, James, can you, can you keep the group? Can you keep the group? 
I was like, uh, all right. I mean, it was really just supposed to be yeah, yeah. Miami. So then I knocked off the 2015 off the name and just left it Miami Marathoners Black Runners Connection, right? And then people started saying, well, who's going to this race? Who's going to that race? Mm. And then they were like, mm. you know, I was like, oh, y'all are killing me. I said, yeah. <laughs> I said, we have Black, you know, National Black Marathoners. Yeah. Like, we, we don't really need another group. I'm not really trying to compete with that. And people were like, no, we were like, I like the vibe here and everything. I said, I said, all right, y'all drive me crazy. So I lopped off the Miami Marathon part and just called it Black Runners Connection. And then it was like an explosion mm -hmm. because the name was easy to find. Mm -hmm. and I think in a matter of like, uh, I don't know, a couple of weeks, we had like 500 members. Mm. And then we just kept growing steadily, very grassroots. Mm. Um, one day, because I was running a, a, a local group um, here in New York City, and I was like, this is getting difficult to do, to grow two, two things. Uh -huh. New York City has tons of running groups. Yeah. Um, but on Facebook, you know, there was still room for us to, to, to grow. And so I made a decision. I was like, well, what do I want to pour my heart and energy into? And I was like, New York City doesn't need me as much as I think I'm needed online. And the reality is there are black people that run and they don't necessarily run marathons. Absolutely. And, and I don't, I, I you know, I, I, don't think NVMA is restricted to only marathon runners, but when you hear the name, yes, right. So I, I remember there always being a lot of discussion about you know who you know should be in the group. You know, are you a marathoner? If you're, you know, and I just wanted to provide a space for black people running. Yeah, because I, I in 2014 I lost my my uh, Alpha Phi Alpha pledge dean. Hmm. Um, to a heart attack hmm. and i'm like listen whatever i can do to provide more space for us to improve our heart health yeah um i want to do it yeah and, and, um and i just said you know what let me just pour my energy into this thing you know and you know devon cully was right there with me like the whole time you know i used to run ideas because to me he was the runner you know mm -hmm. i was just trying to figure this thing out you know um, and, and that's why, like, uh, you know, some years later, uh, you know, I acknowledge him as our uh, co-founder because he literally was there making, you know, helping me and to, to make sense of things and make the critical decisions that, you know, makes BRC what it is. You know, yeah. this is why we have, you know, I, that relationship that I have with that I have with Devon is what helped me to um, just understand these, these crazy runners better. Right. Because yeah. he. He's a crazy runner. Yeah. Wow. But. I just invited, I, I, I talk about the group all the time. Um, I invited a young lady yesterday. She posted, she was like, man, I just ran. <laughs> it's funny because I was thinking about myself. So I just ran complete a mile for 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I was like, well, okay, I'm not going to tell her, you know, because I'm new here, but I'm going to put her in the group. Cause you got that vibe of, oh, that's right, that's right. <laughs> so, so, but I, I love the group. I really do. So, I mean, I can't tell you enough. It, it literally has changed my life. Like, I wake up, I say my prayers, I do my exercises, and most days I post my running in that group, and I look to see. Who else I can cheer on? What's James doing? What's what's, what's the folks in the group? My midnight run from the night before, right? <laughs> and then also what's coming up because me being new here, I'm like, oh, okay, the the international running stuff and the six stars. I, well, I don't, no, I really don't want to do that. Oh, well, maybe I do. Maybe I really do want to do it. So I'm just, you know, I'm trying things out, and I'm 45. And like you said, I, I want to be here for a long time. Yeah. And and my husband, he found out probably three years ago that he has diabetes. And so I'm like, even if I don't like 
say nothing. I just want to live a life that if he wants to say, oh, let me join you on your journey, I'm right here. You know what I mean? I do. So. And, and you know what? That I, I love that. Like, I, I try to, you know, I, I wish I had been more forceful with my pledge, Dean, about, you know, fitness and, you know, having an active lifestyle. Um, but, you know, people people choose for themselves what they want to do. Um, so I, I try to be a living example of what fitness could look like. I'm not OD, you know, I, I know I have this long run streak, but I get at least a mile in mm-hmm. most days. I do mm-hmm. I do the mile minimum, right? And I'm okay with that. It, it's it's me carving out time for my health mm-hmm. every single day. Um, and, you know, it, it's, it's hard to preach to people, right? About this thing that we love. Yeah. They may not necessarily love it that way. Right. Um, but they, people come up to me and they'll be like, yo, you changed my life. I'm like, what? I changed your life. Yeah. And like, yeah, I saw you, I saw you being consistent. I saw you posted consistently. And so, you know, I changed my diet, you know, I'm, you know, I don't have high blood pressure anymore. I don't have diabetes anymore. I don't have, and I'm like, wow. You know, um, sometimes, you know, these, these spaces can get a little clickish. And mm-hmm. I, I, sometimes I, I get a little concerned about that, but it's, it's those moments where people, you know, they let me know like like the things that I've done that I'm just doing to maintain myself, you know, has had an influence on them. It's motivating for me. It keeps mm-hmm. it keeps my engine, you know, running. I don't I don't do it for TV. I don't mm-hmm. do it for Instagram. I don't do it for acc- accolades. But I do want to help people to be mm-hmm. better. I want I, I really and truly want to help people be the best their, their best selves. And that's why a lot of times, you know, I someone's trying to start their fitness journey or restart their fitness journey. I'm like, Hey, do you want an accountability partner? I do a lot of that behind the scenes. Mm. We usually talk about it, but I, I've helped so many people just get on the horse or get back on the horse, mm. um, you know, because they said that they want to change their life. Um, that's important to me. Uh, I used to think when I, when I very first started running, so at that moment, I was broke, busted, busted, and disgusted. I had lost my income. I was a network marketing guru. Not really, but I left my teaching job, and I was making significant money. I was traveling the world. COVID happened. My marriage was a mess. And I had been in an environment for eight years of building teams. And so when that was taken away, I'm like, okay, I'm going to start running. And I'm like, this is stupid. Like, I'm, I'm out here doing it for me, but I'm like, this is selfish. This is so, I kept saying, I was like, this is just, oh, this is selfish. I used to build teams and with people. And then I started to realize, like you said, people were watching and they were like, wow, I'm, I'm impressed with the consistency. Like you're always out there. And, and I was like, what? You watching me? Right blew my mind because I didn't realize that running is not a selfish thing to do. No, it's not. It, it, you know, even, you know, I used to live in Harlem. I was running down the street. I'm right there, brother. You know, dude sitting in their wheelchairs, do do sitting in front of the liquor store. Yeah. You know, I, I'm, a, I'm a midnight runner, so I run really, mm. really tight. And they still see me and they're like, yeah. I'm right, brother, yo, get a running for me. You save some of those miles for me. And I'm like, Yo, mm. they recognize, they, yeah. see, they see when I'm coming, they expect me to be yeah. coming, right? And I, like, you know, you never really realize who's paying that kind of attention to you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's not selfish at all. Yeah. You're, you're giving back. And, you know, you know, I, I call us um, members of BRC, affectionately, I call us the BRC cousins. Yeah. You know, we're family. We got to take care of each other. You know, yes. we, we don't have to be boisterous about it. We don't have yeah. to be forceful about it. But in showing consistency, that's showing care for yeah. your for, for your cousins. Absolutely. Um, those who are in the group, those who are not in the group, like we just really got to take care of each other. Mm. And that that is what drives me every mm-hmm. day. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what? I know you're tired. I know you don't feel like running today. Get your butt mm-hmm. up and, and get it done. Yeah. Know? Yeah. So you've run quite a few races in your career. You've run Chicago Marathon a few times. You've been to London. Yep. Berlin. 
I've run uh, I've run New York four times, Berlin once, London once, Chicago three times. Yeah, Chicago three times. All right, so nine of my twelve uh, marathons are the majors. Mm. So you you probably saw the other day I had a meltdown because I didn't get into. <laughs> Tokyo, y'all don't even know. Like, what are you doing? And that was just for them. I know they ain't watching this, but anyway. Uh, and, you know, I got, I got really emotional about it because mm. I, I'm mostly I'm mad at myself because I didn't plan properly um, to, to do the charity route. I thought that I had it under control and I should have known better and I should have, you know, had more humility and ask somebody for help who's done it before. And I didn't do that. So I'm, I'm kicking myself about that. Mm -hmm. And I figured maybe I could get into the lottery. I already have four stars. Maybe they, no. So mm -hmm. I was like, I quit running. I'm done with this, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not quitting. I'm just, I was yeah. just really um, emotional. It, it's a thing that I, I, I want to do. I, I would like to finish this, the, the six stars. I, I don't know if I would ever qualify for Boston, but I also haven't really ever done the work consistently yeah, that yeah, it yeah. takes to, to get into uh, into Boston. But but I, I I love I love the half marathon. I don't know that I love the marathon distance. Yeah. Um, but you know some races are just incredible. I loved Berlin when I ran it. It was it was so funny. Just you know. Um, being an English speaker and seeing people cheer you on in another language, you know, mm. especially German. Um, I tried learning German and it's a very challenging language, but you know, when you hear people, you know, cheering for you, they're like really excited and you have no idea what they're talking about. And it's just, it's just so much fun. So they're, they're very knowledgeable about the sport, you know? Mm. Uh, and, and, but London, I gotta say, I, I love New York, you know, because it's home. Yeah. Um, Chicago, Boston, but I have never had so much fun as I did in London. <laughs> in London. Mm. You know, um, and I, I, I butcher the accent all the time, the, the British accent. They were like, come on, Jay, you can do it. <laughs> you can get, go, Jay. And I just, I just, I just had so much fun. I, mm. it's, it's probably the first major that I've run. I didn't care about time at mm. all. And it shows. Shows, mm. but I had I had a freaking blast in that race. So, but, and that I think I want to do it because of the experience of I, I don't Chicago was the the first marathon and it was hard. It was really hard. I finished six hours and twenty minutes, but my family was there too. Yeah. That's my home. It was my birthday week. My I was doing it in honor of my dad. My family was here, and I was hugging, and I was happy had blisters and chafing, but the environment of the marathon, I was like, I can't freaking believe I just did this and I could not run 60 seconds three years ago. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I've read about London in a book when I went down a rabbit hole. I was like, oh, <laughs> London sounds like fun. And then I've been asking people, well, what are the easier ones for newer runners? So I think I may definitely... I think Berlin, you're talking about out, out of the majors? Yeah. I think Berlin is the easiest that I've run of the okay. four that I've run. Berlin, like they, they say Chicago's flat. It's, it's got some little bumps. Berlin is pancake flat. Okay. Right? You know, there, there's a there's a, um, a, a reason why the fastest runners in the world try to <laughs> compete there, right? For the official times because yeah. it's pancake flat mm. and it's just a freaking fun race like i i, I really had, had so much fun there i'm curious because being a black person and a dominated a sport that's mostly not black when you run in the united states different races when you go international is there a difference do you feel like there's a difference um i know um, because we're such a small minority in America, when we go to big races like Chicago, you're like, uh, okay, but it's mostly a sea of white folks. Yes. Um, the thing is, I, like, you know that going in, right? Um, but I, you know, gratefully, because of BRC, I never feel alone, like, ever. Like, there, there hasn't, I can't think of 
really any races since I've had the group. I can't think of any races that I've been to where I have felt alone, you know, like like a marathon, because, you know, I just make a point of bringing family with me. Right. Mm -hmm. Or if I know they're going to be there connecting with family while I'm there. Mm -hmm. Right. And I think I think that doing that is critically important because when we are together, we don't seem as much of an anomaly. Yeah. Right. And when we show up and there's 50, 60 of us taking a picture, you know, in front of Big Ben, people are like, oh, that's what's up. Right, right. Right. And then what happens? And more of us, more of us perceive that we can also do it. Yeah. Right? And yeah. then that, that becomes now an aspiration. Right. Yeah. And so it's it's a it's a beautiful um grassroots effort to to growing us. Yeah. In our sport. And this wasn't and I see what you mean as far as like the 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 group, like the connection connections group. Before Facebook, I can't even imagine before social media, black folks participating in like, okay, well, if my sisters and my aunts aren't running, I'm here. I'm here. Let me go and do my thing and go home. Yep. We'd be like, <laughs> have a barbecue, all of yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't feel like we're alone for sure because we're yeah. going to take a picture. We're going we gonna to have a good time. Yep. I mean, like already for like New York City Marathon, I have so many things lined up, right? Uh, I'm trying to nail down one more thing, but as of right now, we have, you know, we already have cheer squad. You know, we're always at mile like 19, 19 and a half before you go over the, the bridge into the Bronx. So we'll be in Harlem. When is, when is the marathon? Because I want to come and cheer one day. It's uh, the third, fourth, fifth, sixth weekend, whatever that is, those days. I think the marathon is probably on the fifth, um, but it's 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 that weekend. I I never pay attention to the mm. actual dates until it's like here. Mm -hmm. uh, but the Saturday, so so the Friday night we, you know, BRC hosts the meet and greet, right? That's up in Harlem, um, and then uh, and that's at Scion Cafe. So we'll be there from like seven to eleven, and then the Saturday morning. Um, we have a partnership now with uh, Super Runner Shop, right? So we've been hosting, you know, biweekly runs. Mm -hmm. um, and now we're going to have like Marathon Mania Weekend is, is what they call it. Oh, but nice. for us, you know, we've been hosting the the shakeout run. Uh -huh. right? So we'll probably run to uh, Central Park, just do a small loop, you know, a little 5K and then come back to the shop. You know, um, New Balance is going to be there. So I'm trying to like build these things to yeah. support, our, you know, support us yeah. and, and, our, and our run and our run cousins. Um, and then Cheer Squad, obviously, like I said, the day of will be out there. Um, so I, I'm just trying to, I'm always just trying to do things yeah. to help us be able to connect with each other yeah. and support each other. Um, you know, it, it, but my friend, brother Charles Smith, I was running. What marathon was it? I think it was the half marathon in Georgia, the the Publix half. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I got to mile nine and I was I was spit. Mm. It smacked me on the butt. Let's go. Yeah. I was like, what? That's right. And I just ran with him, and then he was like, go, because I got I, he you know he helped me get my second win, and and that was the moment that I realized this is in 2015. That was the moment that I realized the importance of us. Yeah. Being on the course. Yeah. When you see a cousin on a course, no matter what you're going through, you get yeah. a little boost of energy. Yeah. Right. And you know you're not alone. And yeah. so you, that support is everything. It's everything. Yeah. It's it's everything. And so I want. I always was like, you know what? I want more of that. I I live for that. I don't run these races because I want to run these races. <laughs> I run these races so I can see my road fam. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. You gonna be there? You gonna be there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell me about the um, Hood to Coast. I'd never heard of it, and I was kind of salty. I was like, I want to go <laughs> when I saw so, you post. Hood to Coast is, uh, as far as I understand it, it it's it's the first 200-mile relay 
Wow. In the country, if I understand that right, if I'm wrong, somebody can correct me when you see this, but that's how I understand it. Um, but either way, it's been going on for more than 40 years. Wow. And, you know, I, I had I had never heard of it either. Um, but then I learned that, you know, you get in by lottery and it's very difficult. It's very difficult to get into that race. Mm. Um, but if you get in and your team is able to get on the podium, so that's slots one through six. If you get on the podium, you get an automatic bid. So our team, um, I created a team years ago for Relay called the Fast and the 40 Plus, mm -hmm. right? And so it's so funny because half of us are like about to hit 50 or already like 50 now. Nobody needs to know 40 yeah. plus. <laughs> yep, 40 plus. Um, because, you know, we're a mixed masters team. So you have to be 40 or old, older to, okay. to be on a team. But we're a competitive squad. And like we try to win our division. Yeah, uh, it's been challenging. You know, we've had people, you know, not be able to make it. People drop out the last minute, and that hurts our feelings when, when people do that. But you know, then we just make the best of it. As long mm -hmm. as we have the, the correct balance of, you know, it has to be more more women on the team than men. Um, mm -hmm. So, so as long as we do that, you know, we stay comp stay, stay compliant. But you know, we we've had we've never had a full you know, squad, and we finished in the last three years. We finished fourth wow. sixth then this year we finished third i think wow. yeah where do you start and where do you end so you run from mount hood okay. which is literally a mountain in uh in oregon and then you run down through portland and then out to the beach wow it's 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 great it's it's a lot yeah. it's a lot you know, if you if you've ever done like a Ragnar, it's the same thing, right? No, it's just uh, <laughs> well, you know, I'm new here. <laughs> Ragnar is for when you look it up, right? You know, Ragnar's, you know, hood to coast, they're the same thing. Ragnar moves around to different locations. Hood to okay. coast is just hood to coast. They call it hood to coast because you're running from Mount Hood, okay, to to I think it's called I think it's called Sandy Beach. I always forget the name, but you run to the same beach, so. Okay. The route doesn't change, you know. Um, you're running through the mountains, you know. You're running with dust and, like, you know, uh, all kinds of stuff, yeah. right? You're running through Portland and it, you know, you know, dodging sometimes, you know, like real people. Um, but it's very interesting race. Mm, okay, I got two things. I'm gonna do this uh, rapid fire, and then I want you to tell the newest runner. They are on YouTube looking to find out how do I do this thing? Can I do this thing? Um, just encourage the newest runner. Okay. So headphones or gnaw when you run? I have traditionally been a gnaw to that for two okay. reasons. Primarily safety. Mm -hmm. And number two, most people don't have any behavior when they're listening to music and they try to run to the tempo of the music. And that's usually too fast. Right. <laughs> However, recently I've been using those bone conduction uh -huh. um, open ear. Yeah. And I got to tell you, that has, for a person that runs a lot by themselves, I feel safe. Yeah. And because I've been running for almost 10 years, I can moderate myself. So, yeah. yes, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm pro open ear. Okay. Uh, okay. Definitely. Flat or heels? Heels. Okay. Gels or food? Both of them. <laughs> There's no easy answer to that because it depends, oh. right? Do okay, you want... like if you have like a little applesauce pack, or you prefer to like just give me a. When I'm running, I'm going to say gels. Like, okay. if, I'm, if I'm in a race, I'm going to say gels. I don't. Okay. I don't want to eat like food. Food. Okay. okay. Summer running or fall? Summer. Mm, why? Because fall makes me depressed because I know the winter is coming. <laughs> <laughs> New York, right, right. <laughs> oh, my gosh, yeah. See, I love, I thought I loved summer, but that was my first year because I was just biased about everything running. And then I was like, no, I don't, I don't really like the heat. The thing but, is, summer running prepares you for any condition, right? Yeah. So if you, and, and remember, I'm in New York, too. Yeah. So, 
like the summer, like it gets me prepared. If I if I know I'm running, especially four races, if I can handle the summer heat, I can handle anything. Anything, yeah, facts. Yeah. All right, so in this closes out with that new runner is on YouTube. They found this video. What do you tell that new runner? <sighs> new runner, you you hear all of these uh, these little quotes. You know, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Guess what? That's true. You don't have to do everything in your first run. Pace, literally, pace yourself. You you, you will get to where you want to be. You will get to your wildest dreams, things that you can't even dream of right now. If you just take your time, you run slow in the beginning. You do, when, if, you're, if you're ever training for a race, you want to run slow more often than fast. Um, you know, to me, slowing down fixes 90% of the problems that I've ever had with running. Injuries, running out of breath, cramps. So take your time. It literally, literally is not a sprint. Even when you're sprinting, right? So take your time, enjoy yourself educate yourself, ask questions. All of your questions are the right questions. You know, surround yourself around other people who, who, who do this and who, are, who love the sport. Join these groups, join these communities. Be, be as immersed as you want to be in it. Um, and you will have a great time. Make sure, please, that you use the right tools for the job. So don't you know, I, I know a lot of people get started and they just buy whatever little sneakers or running, run, you know, what do y'all call them, tennis shoes, right? But please go to a running store where you live. Let them get you fitted for the right shoes, running shoes for your feet, right? Um, you're not going to use a sledgehammer if all you need is a little needle, right? So you want to make sure you have the right tool for the job. That's going to make all the difference. Um, I don't want you to get hurt. I want you to enjoy the sport. So if you do things, these these small suggestions, I think you I think you will end up loving running. What do the kids say? All cap? <laughs> what do they say? Oh, all cap means it's all lies. No cap. Oh, no, not that. No cap. Oh my no. gosh, you, you just told you just told me yourself. Oh. You said all cap. You, you basically said everything I said was a lie. No, no cap. <laughs> no That's cap. what they say. But ain't nobody younger than 35 watching these videos anyway. So <laughs> I, just, I just found out what that meant about two months ago. I had no idea. <laughs>